It's crazy now that I'm in here with a ring light. I'm like, it's kind of good. Um, what's the start here? <laughs> should, we just, should we just hop in? Thanks to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. Thanks guys. On today's episode, we are going through Malika's closet. Kitty just gonna help me pick out some of the things that are just really time to let go of so we can make some room for something new. I love to go through my closet to pick out some things that I'm gonna put up on The Real Real. We also love to shop on The Real Real, so that's why we're so excited that they're this week's sponsor. The Real Real is a very nice luxury consignment website and also an app. They have amazing brands like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, and most of the time you can get up to 90% off on these brands. And they have several gorgeous retail locations in LA, San Francisco, and New York. Every item is professionally authenticated, so you know that you're getting something that's real. The real real. You can sell your items by scheduling a virtual consignment appointment, either via video call or curbside drop-off at one of their 10 locations. So click the link in the description to get $25 off of your first order. Plus, you can get an additional 20% off on select items if you just use the code REAL. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna share with you some of the amazing handbags that The Real Real sent us. So this is my closet, guys. This room accompanies what I would like to call one of Malika's favorite hobbies, shopping. <laughs> I don't know a better way to describe it. Just no, that was shrink. very honest. I'm proud of you. I have a lot of individual loves in my life and they come in bags and shoes. So I have dedicated a room in my house specifically to my bag and shoes. That's just the truth. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, you have a lot of stuff, so you do absolutely. I had to make for it. I had to make room for it. When I bought my house, I was really buying it for my son. Then I realized it was great <laughs> for him, but it did not house a closet for my shoes and my bags. So I built out this closet, had this island installed, and now I have a lovely home for my bags and shoes as well. Your other kids. My other children, my first children before I had a child. They're just not nearly as important as my <laughs> child. My stepfather loves golfing. I love shopping. So this is my balls and my tees, I guess you could say. Oh, I like what you did with that. You know, so everybody has speaking. their thing that they're this into. This is your sport. This is, is what my you're trying to say. Her, her sport is shopping. What's your favorite? Bag or shoes. Crazy, this is gonna sound insane, but I don't wear anything in here right now. I transition the same bag over and over again because I carry a diaper bag. I don't wanna carry a purse and a diaper bag. So I throw everything in my son's bag. But one of my favorite things about my bags and my shoes are some of them are very sentimental to me because they're like something my sister got me for my birthday or something my best friend got me for my birthday. They just all hold some value or back when I really wanted to get certain things and couldn't afford it, but I worked up to it or saved for it. Like I do have a lot of sentimental pieces that I hope to one day hand down to my daughter. Not shoes really, but more so bags. I think Let's like show it. This. Oh, she's cute. Is by far one of my very favorite pieces in my closet, which I do hope to hand down to like my daughter because it's just a forever Louis Vuitton trunk item. But you bought this for yourself. I right? did. I okay. did. I, I, so it has it holds sentimental value because she hopes to hand it down one day. Give me something that's like sentimental because maybe I bought it for you or you know somebody else. I love how coordinated it is in here. This beautiful sandals by Gianvito Rossi and my sister bought it for me and I love it so much. She really I was also me. wish that I'd had like two pairs because I would wear <laughs> them all the time but I don't want to ruin them. They're, really They're beautiful. Cute. Thanks again. You're welcome. Growing up we dressed alike so we had all the same things. Pretty much. I don't think it's until like our adult life where we established like our own styles or we could really like share or borrow something from each other. So this is why I enjoy Malika's closet because I don't have all of this, yeah, but, but I, I do because she does. But I also <laughs> like to buy Khadija really nice gifts. She does. And I always get to borrow them from her. And she does. <laughs> Khadija and I's style is not all that different. Very cute and comfortable, that's what I'll say. I'm sure there's someone that dresses far better and far greater than we do, but we don't really care about that. 
We do exactly what we like and purchase only the things that we love. And we share that same kind of sentiment. One of my favorite things to do is mix highs and lows. And that's just something everyone knows about me. If I had to wear one thing for the rest of my life, it'd be a sweater, a pair of leggings, and some sandals. But my new favorite thing to do is to dress like my son. So anything that I think is cute for him, I go out and I buy one for myself. <laughs> yeah. My son has the smallest little version of these. I never cared about an Air Force, Air Force One before. One. But now I swear it's my favorite thing on the planet and it has the most sentimental value to me because I can wear it with him. And I mean, I can't be as cute as he is, these but I can clean. at least try dressing like him. Oh, oh, and then I, I, I bought these sneakers like Ace also. These are Yeezys. But oh, he has those? Yeah, Ace has these too. Very cute. So I got a pair for myself. I think he's gonna get really irritated when he's older. I'm like, Mom, can you stop matching my wardrobe? And then I'll stop. But I, I'm yeah. gonna need him to utter those you words won't do exactly. it for long. It's just really fun right now because it's like mommy and baby. Mm -hmm. It's like him and mini me. If I had to pick someone in my house that has the most organized closet, it's probably my teenager. <laughs> He loves his things. He does. He's like his aunt. He has everything color coordinated and the shoes are just right so they're not touching each other and they don't brush up against each other. I don't know. I share a closet with my husband, so it's not as glorious I don't know as how this is. I share a closet with anyone. I couldn't even I know. imagine. I don't have this much stuff, so it, it, it works. And then when I want extra, I just come play in Malika's closet. I am no fashionista. I buy what I like. I, I could do a much better job at putting things together. But I don't typically buy things because I'm putting together a whole outfit. I buy individual pieces just because I love them. That's who I am and I don't care what anybody thinks about it. But I will say this. I think it's very important to get all of your basics down. In my opinion, that's like all of your neutrals. Make sure you have something black. Make sure you have something white. Make sure you have something gray. Make sure you have something nude, nude. beige, something basic so you it can go with anything that you decide to wear. Golds, metallics, silvers. Those things are really important to me. But are you big on color? I'm you not. Have color. You have a red bag. Yeah, but I mean, who doesn't need a red bag? Even though I have all of these things, I find myself always reaching for the more comfortable vibe. That's even when I leave the house, especially when I'm at home, I'm so comfortable. I don't even want socks. That's when I walk around straight barefoot. If it were up to me, I'd be naked all day long, to be quite honest. I like a good pair of house shoes when I'm at home. Yeah, really comfy, little faux fur, whatever. Just something that I can just feel like I'm kind of walking on clouds. Because of the kids, I might step on something that's not so gross. Comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just nice to have something on my feet, but still very chill. Do you have any organizing tips for maybe someone that wants to make an at home closet? I think the first thing you do is color coordinate. As long as you keep your colors together, your closet often looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Also, it makes it so much easier for you to find the things you're going to. If all your blacks are together, all your neutrals are together, all your colors are together, you know exactly where to go every time to get what you're looking for. I would have to say my greatest advice for your closet, if you have kids, just keep them out of your closet. I don't think we ever just come in here and stare at your things. I don't. It's funny. My best friend Chloe helped me put my closet together when I moved in. She organized all of my bags. And then she said, did you ever look at all your stuff and go, wow, I have a lot of really nice stuff. And I go, no, not until I have this closet. Because you could see everything. Now I can really see everything. Yeah. And it makes me very proud and very grateful that I'm able to keep up with some of the toys. Not crazy important in life, but it's really nice to work really hard and get the desires of your, the little tiny parts of your heart. Yep. I am for sure the first person to get rid of something. Now, yes, I do keep a lot of things, but I am pretty addicted to new. So yes, either I'm buying a new deodorant or a new pair of shoes. <laughs> I gotta get something. I think she buys shoes more than she buys deodorant. But she smells good. That's no point intended. Being that I am a bit of a bag and shoe hoarder, I do have to let go of something. Even if that's one item at a time, it makes room for something else. So, these- The rain boots. 
baby blue Chanel rain boots. <laughs> now, I bought these when I was in London probably eight years ago. Oh, wow. It started to rain in London and I did not have on the appropriate shoes. And I thought that it was the funniest thing. And I bought these boots and I brought them there back to LA it. and I have never, ever worn them. I just, it was- you it, never worn these? Not since then. And it, I was just I attached know. to the story and the memory and how these boots saved me that one fine wet occasion in London. And now I'm going, I think I can let them go. I think this would be, that this is a good purge. I think they're still really cute, but it doesn't rain that much in California, so I could see why you've never used them. Okay guys, so I need your help. What do you think I should do with these boots? Should I keep them for a rainy day or get rid of them? So I'm just wondering, while I'm purging stuff, what are you getting rid of? I know you have something to get rid of. I do, I actually have a bag like a blue Perenza bag. It yeah, but do you know the last time I used that? I was pregnant with my daughter, Selena. She's six. I just haven't used it, but I feel like this would be a great opportunity for me to maybe make room for another bag that I will really use. So I probably could see myself letting go of that bag. I mean, listen, I'm not as big as a shopper as Malik is. When I want something, I really, really want it, and I keep it for a very long time. But I'm I noticing- I really, really want my stuff. You do, but you're addicted to new, so there's always something new coming right after True. the new thing she just purchased, so. You did just ask me, do you shop too much? I did, but I didn't really mean it for me. Oh. Because I bought all those teething toys for Ace. I couldn't choose one, I just bought all of them. No. Well, there's no such thing as shopping too much for him. So as promised, the Real World sent us some items that we were able to personally pick out. So we're so excited to show you guys what we got. Since I'm so into carrying my son's diaper bag all the time, I always want something smaller. So I realized in my closet I needed a couple smaller options that were still really cute and chic that I can throw over my shoulder or on my yeah. arm <laughs> and still not feel like I'm carrying a whole lot with my son's diaper bag. This little Fendi Tootsie Roll bag is so adorable. That's I loved really that. Cute. And if I needed to, I can toss it right on top of Ace's stuff. And I love this off-white because it just makes a perfect little shoulder. Adorable. Works for today too. I know. We'll, we'll I love that out. we both went for Chanel bags that have yeah, like a little, little metallic. Pearl. Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. Metallic? Okay. Little metallic. Mine's just a little darker. Yes. I went for the same thing. I love and a honestly, long chain. I love that all of these bags are basically brand new. They yes. don't have wear and tear on them at all. You would never know if they ever belonged to someone who actually wore them or whatever. And then I also got another Fendi. I was copying the week because I didn't have any big Fendi. So thanks the real real. <laughs> So guys, what did you think about Malika's closet? Comment below and tell me some of your organization tips. And thanks again to The Real Real for sponsoring this video. Thank you. Don't forget to click the subscription button below so you don't miss any future episodes. One of their 10 locations. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up as I went. <laughs>